Hello Pisces, this is going to be your love reading. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Keep that in mind. Check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. The situation that I talk about today could have happened in the recent past, the near pres the present or the near future, because I am going to be doing a past, present, future spread. Don't want you guys to get confused. Um, just because I mentioned the near future doesn't mean that this situation could have couldn't have already happened. Um, and energies can be vice versa. So I could be talking about you or the other person. For today's reading, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I already pre-shuffled the oracle cards. So all I'll do on camera for these is split the deck and then pick the card at the top. So that will hopefully save us some more time. And then I'm going to be using two decks, one to lay down the cards for the past, present, future spread, and one to clarify the energies. So let's get this started. Magician in the mirror, beautiful energy. This is very similar to the magician in the tarot. Manifesting something new. Ooh, and wide open just popped out there. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed to the channel recently. I read all of your comments and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Never ending story. Interesting. I'm going to read that message um, when it comes to the romance message part because this Oracle deck, they have every card has like um, a different message. So for 37, um, the romance message is sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that it results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for other more complex reasons. Shame, fear, intimacy, and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to the success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is, however. Right now, you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you be, need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones. Have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives. None of them were ever true anyway. Wow, what an interesting message. So what I'm getting right away is you're manifesting a new way of dealing with love and connections, um, a new way of approaching relationships here, um, getting out of a cycle where maybe you believed lies about yourself or about a connection, um, and with the magician here, I feel like this is you manifesting a new love story for yourself. Okay. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, please bring forth messages for Pisces in regards to love. Messages for Pisces in regards to love. I'll wait for a card to come out. Oh, okay. And then I'll just pick them out. All right, so we have the tower starting off here, the moon, sign of Pisces, there you are, seven of wands, so I feel like this is in the recent past here, and then currently we have the page of cups, knight of wands, ace of swords here, three of pentacles, Feel like something came down in order for you to rebuild is what i'm getting so far um three of wands another three here and the king of swords okay bottom of the deck temperance sign of sagittarius again with healing i'm getting healing and balance here with temperance we are going to clarify all of these um, right away, what I'm getting is a situation that shook up your foundation here. Um, could have been an ending to a relationship. It could have been some sort of reveal. Um, and I feel like uh, this has caused confusion, fear, doubt, whatever tower moment. And you're in defensive mode here. Um, you are protecting yourself, protecting your heart, or just blocking negative energies from your life at this time due to this tower um with a page of cups here i'm getting this could be an offer of an apology or 
an offer to begin something new, um, something more, but I feel like it's tied to emotion. So some sort of message regarding how someone feels here with the Page of Cups. Knight of Wands is someone kind of rushing in almost a little impulsively here. Um, I feel like these two are connected, this Knight of Wands, Page of Cups. Um, it's almost like the Knight of Wands is like rushing over and then he wants to stop and then offer you this small cup um, of emotion here. With the Ace of Swords, um, I feel like this is going to be a conversation, a message here, um, or a realization based on what happened that brings you new clarity here. With King of Swords right underneath, I feel like you are in fighting mode here. You want to manifest something new, and that means something had to end. With the Three of Pentacles, you're thinking about rebuilding again, restarting something, um, connecting with someone or something where you can create a new foundation, something possibly stronger or better than whatever was this tower over here. Um, I feel like you're waiting for something to come in, a message perhaps from this Page of Cups. Um, we'll clarify and see what you're waiting for. But I mean, this is someone who's kind of waiting for the results of something, for something to come back, for something to begin. I think you right now, you're a little bit emotionally distant, you or someone else, because of this tower moment. And with temperance here, I feel like this is a, a message to rebalance the situation here. Um, could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like you're trying to regain balance because this shook you up. So let's clarify. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Pisces. Does Pisces need to know in regards to love. Does Pisces need to know? All right. Tell me about temperance. Start right there. Tell me about temperance. This could also be patiently waiting as well, or the divine stepping in. Four of Swords, healing. You are healing from a situation. You are another person. Tell me about temperance, please, Spirit. You are taking a rest here. You are thinking about what to do nine of wheels so some of you this is a nine of pentacles card some of you could be recently single or just focused on healing and bringing yourself back to this confident stable secure person bottom of the deck i have six of swords so you possibly could have left a relationship you or another person um and now you are probably finding something or looking for something more stable. Um, tell me about this tower. What happened here? What happened with this tower? Towers are difficult, but sometimes they're needed. The Empress and Ten of Wheels. This could have been a breakup of a marriage here with the tower. Could have had to do with family, a motherly figure, a wife. Um, doesn't have to be. But um, with Ten of Pentacles, this is a long-term commitment here. Um, could be family-related as well. Um, and with the Tower, I feel like there was a shakeup within this unit here, this dynamic. Bottom of the deck, we have Ace of Swords again. There was some some cutout of something. Some someone cut something out of their life, or has had new clarity about something. Behind that, I have the Four of Cups. I feel like they cut out this energy of I, I immediately got not going anywhere. Um, not happy where where they're, where they're at. Um, they feel like they're not progressing. Um, there's nothing that inspires them. Um, there's no passion here. There's no emotion here is what I'm getting. Um, there's clarity for someone here about how something's not going the way they thought. Tell me about the moon. Whoa. 
Hang on. Card just went flying over. Okay, so we got the Three of Wands again. This could be you, Pisces, because I have you here with the moon. Um, this could be you waiting for something here, or it could just be um, someone else waiting to approach you. We get, I say that because I have the Six of Wands in the deck. Wanting victory and success. Tell me more about this moon. Oh my gosh. Five of Wands, King of Wheels. So this is the King of Pentacles here. And the five of wands um i feel like there was some someone was waiting for something to become known um regarding conflict or drama or arguments um with the moon i feel like the moon reveals things um also the moon is about the unknown figuring out a path having confusion and fear about a path so i feel like this person whoever this is here um i feel like they're waiting for a way out of this energy um wanting stability and security here but not knowing how to get it not knowing where this will lead them they know what they want, but they don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, Nine of Swords. This person is thinking um, and stressing about this. Possibly feeling guilt as well. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands? Okay. The Fool and the Star. Beautiful energy. This person wants to fight for their freedom, for um for their wish here um this person wants to heal to start something new to have a new beginning um they want to manifest a new beginning for themselves this person's ready to take a leap of faith on something or someone here could be an aquarius doesn't have to be um but i feel like this person in the midst of healing it's like they want to heal themselves and they want something new, you know, something lighter, freer um, here. Bottom of the deck, I have the King of Wands. So definitely this person wants to take action on something they feel very strongly about. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me more spirit about this Page of Cups this page of cups about this could be an apology or again just a like a confession or just opening up emotionally about their feelings how they feel towards this connection possibly three of swords nine of swords okay so this person is scared to make this offer this person also is they could be they could be making an apology to heal this pain um, or they are just still I feel like they can only offer you something small because they're still in the in the midst of this emotional instability have the high priestess under the deck so maybe this person is scared that when they approach and confess um, that they're not going to be accepted here because they don't know how it's going to play out. They don't know what's going to happen with the high priestess. There's something unknown with the high priestess. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Whoa. Ten of Cups. Okay, so this person is looking after or wanting to rush into their Ten of Cups and Two of Cups. There is definitely a union here that's very special. Um, this person wants to be with their partner, the person that mirrors them, the person that they see a long-term future with. Yeah, Ten of Swords under the deck. This person had to either this, this ended or this person had to end something in order to 
go after their true partner um, or I'm also getting for a small number of you this person screwed up something beautiful um, and now they want to make things right that's just for a small number of you because I do have the ten of swords under the under the, under the deck and right behind that seven of swords I feel like there was lying cheating sneaking around things going on behind the scenes that cost an ending could have been that tower moment that kind of ended a relationship there that could have opened the door for this to happen tell me about the ace of swords justice yeah someone's had clarity and are going to make something right something a final decision that is going to rebalance the situation could be a libra doesn't have to be tell me more about this ace of swords I'm more pleased about this ace of swords knight of swords yeah now that they've had clarity about how to make this situation right they're gonna rush in knight of swords knight of wands page of cups the higher font under the deck could be a Taurus. I feel like this person is thinking about commitment. King of Wheels. Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. What's this Three of Pentacles about? Someone wants to build something or it could have been a third party situation because I have two threes here. Queen of Pentacles and the Moon. There you are again. This person wants to build something with you, Pisces, or vice versa. And again, they're thinking commitment. Long term stability, financial stability, uh, loyalty. I have the Ace of Cups under the deck. So definitely wanting a new beginning with you. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Okay. Wow, six of cups. The emperor and the five of pentacles. Interesting. Emperor here could be an Aries, six of cups, a past life connection or someone from the past. I feel like someone from the past was shut out here I feel like the Emperor is going to take matters into his own hands he's regained confidence authority here with the King of Swords he's gonna make the decision he needs to make I feel like this person could be struggling financially that's only for some of you there um, this person's waiting to come back in from out of the cold as well Yeah, I have the Ace of Pentacles under the deck, and then behind that, the Ace of Wands. Crazy. New, 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 new beginning. Tell me about this King of Swords. What's this King of Swords all about? Thank you. Yeah, Six of Wands. This, this King of Swords is going to cut out anything he needs to cut out in order to be successful and victorious. They're thinking they need to win. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Yep, Eight of Wands, High Priestess, communication and movement forward. With the High Priestess though, this person wants to get to the bottom of whatever they don't know. Because King of Swords, he goes in and he gets to the truth of the matter. He gets to the bottom of things. bottom of the deck seven of cups so there's some sort of thinking going on here um, wondering about um, choices I feel like this king of swords and with the six of wands he's thinking how do I make this happen with the seven of cups how do I get to the bottom of this how do I get this started how do I approach Pisces or vice versa 
um, about this new beginning that I want to take with them. Thank you so much for watching Pisces. Hopefully the situation resonated with you. If it did, leave me a comment and let me know. If it didn't, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. And feel free to check out your other placements to see what other messages there are out there for you. Thank you again for liking, subscribing, and commenting and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in my next video. Take care.